All right. Welcome <coughs> to the stream. We're doing day 16 of the advent of code. Um, I took a break yesterday to go to a wedding, but we're back. Let's see if we managed to catch up and uh, solve it quickly. Maybe we'll manage to catch up today. I don't know. I'm waiting for maybe two hours. Not too long, but let's see. Let's get on with day 16. All right, the floor will be lava. So we use the lens library. I like that shout out. Uh, so the blue light is complete. Focus on where lava production facility. Look at the K. These sorts of keep okay. Finally, the heart of the mountain. You see bright light and coming ahead. Okay, we focus the light on something. Camera close to the facility flowing. Okay, the attraction should be a flat two dimensional square grid. Nice. Getting empty space, mirrors, and splitters. Okay, the contraction is aligned with most of the beams mounted around the grid, but each tile in the grid converts some of the beams light into heat to move the rock in the cavern. So we have the layout. Comes in in the upper left, top left corner from the left and heading to the right. Then its behavior depends on what it encounters as it moves. If the beam encounters empty space, it continues in the same direction. If the beam encounters a, I'm just a mirror, Ah, the beam is reflected, right? So it goes like, ching. It goes through here and here. So if it goes here, it would start going downwards, okay? If the beam encounters the pointy end of a splinter, the beam passes through the splinter with empty space, okay, but the flat side of the splitter is here. The beam is split into two beams going in each of the two directions and the splitter's pointy ends are pointing. Aha, uh -huh, okay. One that goes up and one that goes down. Cool. Okay. Let's parse this quickly into something that makes sense. I think we're going to use a, an array. Because we're going to be navigating around and... We want that, that random access, bro. It's the best kind of access. Well, you have to uh, keep it all in memory, though. But that's okay. That's what we're going to do anyway. Example. Okay. Also, my mouse is working again. Whoop, whoop. It stopped working for a while. But now it's working again. Let's all celebrate that. It's also third advent this Sunday. Um, because Christmas Day is on a Monday. So like next. So the Christmas Eve is actually fourth advent. That is crazy, yo. Anyway, in Iceland, uh, we lit light four candles. But we haven't been home these uh, advents. So we haven't really been doing that. Uh, But that's okay. We're doing Advent of Code instead. Wow. I feel like my uh, laptop is slow today. Like it's, the rendering is just a bit slow, but it's okay. We're still we're still on a server, so solutions time shouldn't be affected. But I'm gonna go ahead and. Um, Save everything here. Now, how do we do uh, an array? <sighs> Let me see. So, um, the things in this uh, grid are going to be data, G grid entry. So, we're going to have a empty space. We're going to have reflect 90. <laughs> okay, so let's have another data type that just says data angle. How is the audio, by the way? Is everything good? I feel like, I feel like my laptop is not in a good mood today. I hope it's going okay. OBS is reporting things okay, but yeah. You never know. Let's see. Up. 
down, left, right. Okay, um. Um, I'm actually gonna just make it a, an array of characters. Um, reflect ninety, and then it's either. Uh, it's going from left to up, left comma up, uh, it's reflect, uh, and then it's angle, angle, so we're gonna have the left corner and upper right Right corner. Okay, and then we're gonna have a splitter, and that's also angle, angle. Um, left, right, left, right, or uh, right, or. down I feel like um, I feel like it's actually like uh, you can imagine these slashes uh, uh, also as, as a splitter but it's just uh, it just it ch it's changing the direction um, but it's not creating two Anyway, um, so let's see who go data dot array. I never remember how these things work. Uh, we're not doing byte arrays. Um, maybe it's in container. I think it should be in container. It's like IRAs and MRAs and. Uh, has scale container package. Do, 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 do. What what is going on today? Jesus. We'll go. So map dot strict. Data dot map in containers. Yes. Okay. Good. Containers don't have uh, arrays. Data dot array. Yeah, it's in the array array package. Makes sense. Ding 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 ding. Let me see. Um, I want to just say here. Uh, um, let's just import data array. I'm just going to make it figure out the types itself. Uh, do print. So, um, read file, example, into print.parse. So, parse is equal to lines. A parse is equal to uh, map parse entry. Mm, parse. This is strings into, and this is just going to be a list of this stuff. Grid entry. Now, uh, let's say parse where uh, parse entry dot 
is equal to empty parse entry uh, slash is equal to reflect a from a left to right so it's either left to right or right to left right mm. how do they describe it in the text so right from the kinds of can you continue upward let's actually make this just an angle okay uh, so this one if I'm coming from the right I'm gonna go up bars entry I think these are all the same okay I think it's it's actually you know it's like this so uh, data grid entry is just a GE of list of angle okay so this is GE empty this is GE up and uh, so if you come from the left okay okay anyway this is GE down maybe these type selections are gonna bite us in the end let's say we need to do it like this because otherwise it's gonna be messed up parse entry so i think it's a nice choice of entries here that would actually let this up down let's kind of say if you go through this these are the copies you're supposed to um create Okay, let's see. Did see oh, day sixteen, day sixteen, tidy chest and time sixteen. It's a member. Oh my god! Apple install lib array. This is uh, what it's a bit annoying with the. Um, GT up. It's, it doesn't come with all the batteries included. So now I feel like. See? And then we just installed it. Like it, was, it was already there. It was just kind of not exposed uh, globally. Uh, oh, okay. Map, map. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Deriving show. <laughs> we should probably add, you know, EQ or whatever here. Okay, so we have empty list, up, down, dot, dot. Okay. Now, I want to make this into an array. And there's going to be a mutable arrays. Um, let me see. <coughs> bounds of the array specific files on the lowest and highest bound of the array respectively and a one origin uh, okay okay then we're gonna just say um, let's make this into int common and then these are gonna be int comma Okay, and this is going to be a map. So we're going to sip. And then we're going to sip. Mm -hmm. Map is applied to. Oh yeah, okay, I need to do dot here. <laughs> okay, um, the zip width. Okay, and then instead of doing like this, I'm going to say here, I who uh, ILS to um, 
Twitter map a j comma e to i comma j comma e mm -hmm. plus okay and right and then it's like this Let's see again. Okay, now we have the, all the associations. And now let's just concat. Why can't I concat all of these? Um, print pars and then concat. I feel like I should be able to do concat here. Uh, it's because I didn't change the type here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay. And now I'm gonna make this into an I array. Um what is this U array? Is that uh un uh, it's unboxed. Okay. Array and Let's see. Array int int grid entry, and then we are gonna say here import qualify data array as r import data dot array array, and then what I'm gonna say here is I'm gonna say r dot from mm, list is a list array yeah um ah array dot array and we just say that the bounds should be zero comma zero and nine comma nine right Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Dot. Nice. Okay. Um, <coughs> and then I can kind of move around in the array, right? So now uh, let's see. So A, R, is this just this? And now let's see. Return here. Print R. And I should be able to do print R. Uh, 1.2. Yeah. Okay. So now I have fast access to the values in the array cool uh, it's all quite nice and fast so now we have the layout in here mm -hmm. so now I'm going to um, ding. Mm-hmm. 
Let's see, now I need to write the opposite function. Opposite. Up is down. Opposite. Down is up. Opposite. Left is right. And the opposite of right is left. So we will... Let's just so we start. Um, we start at zero zero, and what we're gonna do is that every time we are supposed to split the beam, we're just gonna save that in a list of beams that we have to process next. Okay, so we are gonna say here um, part one. And then we can probably memoize it later. It's gonna be go. So it's gonna be um, empty. So we're gonna start with the beam zero comma zero that's going right. Okay. And that's gonna be our initial one. So where go. And what I want to see is if I so what uh, what tiles have I seen? Okay, so we do um, we have to have a set for this import. Data dot set set import qualify data dot set set. So we're gonna have here um, set dot empty. So go. Uh, so if I don't have any beams anymore, I'm just gonna return set dot size scene. Now okay, go scene uh, beam coordinates and beam direction and these are the other beams uh, Okay, so here, oh, okay, so what I know is actually that, um, let's make this a map.empty actually. Map.empty, um, and we're gonna make this import data.map, map import qualified data.map as map. So we're gonna make this a map.empty and map dot scene. Okay, so here we're gonna say a uh, go scene case. Uh, so just a uh, visited so scene. Uh, just uh, at BC uh, scene map dot bang question mark. Um, let me see. If I've never seen it before, case um, seen map dot bang. Um, and BC of just there's okay so now I'm gonna see if um, if I've seen it before and it was going in the same direction it's not gonna change anything because it's just gonna hit everything again uh, so uh, if BD uh, set dot member let me see set dot 
What is the type of set don't remember again? I never remember it. I never remember the which comes first, the map or the Okay, the element comes first. Uh, if a pd set dot member uh, tears, then go other beams. Otherwise, then go seeing other beams. Else, um, okay, so. It's basically this. Okay, it, so let's just do it here. Just there's of scene scene map dot bc. Uh, so we, we, we have seen this tile before, first of all. And a pd set dot member is is equal to go see other themes otherwise um, okay otherwise um Okay, otherwise we haven't seen it. Before. Then we have to create... Um, okay. Otherwise... So then we say... Uh, let... Scene prime equal um, map dot singleton a how does map dot singleton work? Do do do. Mm -hmm. Okay, it says key value. Okay, map dot singleton. Um, BC and then set dot singleton BD in um, in a in okay so we say map dot insert Aha, uh -huh, okay, I don't need to do that. So I mapped out insert with uh, this and then PC and um, set dot singleton PD and this is a uh, set dot union. Let so the scene prime is equal to this so this is a new set so we're just gonna add this new direction let scene prime equals map dot insert with set dot union and then the coordinate and then this new and then scene Ooh. so that's the in uh go scene prime Beams prime. Um, now we need to say beams prime. Okay, so beams. So um, now we have to add new beams. So let's say we actually we figured out the new scene prime. So let's say uh, case. Um, and then now we're gonna look up in this array, right? Our 
we're gonna say case r r dot bang bc of okay um let's see here move uh, x comma y okay, so if we're moving to the left is equal to uh but i s yeah i zipped it so it's actually y comma x as usual x as usual so this is going to be y comma x minus one if i go right it's going to be x plus one if i go up it's going to be x minus one actually and if i go down it's going to be y plus one okay case r b d of g e empty so if we hit the empty list then um the new beam then we're just gonna say um Uh, let's see new beam is equal to okay okay if we um, hit the empty list then this is gonna be um, the same as move Um, BCBD. Let me see. Data dot array. We look up and um, what happens if it's out of bounds? We'll probably get an error, right? Okay. Um uh, okay, so the new beam is just uh we just do it, we just have one element. Okay, if I hit the uh one with like one case, then um Let me see. I think they. <sighs> Let's see. Okay, if I hit uh, an up, uh, that is a case. A BD of. So if I'm hitting one that goes up, which is uh, this one, right? Yes. So if I'm coming from the. Uh, right, so if I'm going right, if it, this is. So case BD of right, the new direction is uh, up. So we are just going to say move BC, uh, uh, move BC BD, and then the next one, and it's also BD, okay? Move BC uh, up, up. Okay, if I'm coming from the left, it's move BC. Um, down, down. If I'm coming from the, if I'm coming up, then it's movie C. Uh, then we're going, we go right and down. Then we go left.
And the other case here is down. So if I'm coming down, okay. And if I'm coming from the right, I want to go down. If I'm coming from the left, I want to go up. If I'm coming, if I'm going up, I want to go left. And if I'm going down, I want to go right. <laughs> okay, now there are two more cases. The splitters. Uh, oh, this one is up and down. This one's supposed to be left, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I'm coming from the uh, if I'm coming from the right or left. If I come to the right or left, the um, the is left or the is right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then I want to go um, one that goes up. And um, otherwise, it is just move B C B D E D. Mm -hmm. Same here with left and right, left, right. Um, <clears throat> if I was going up, so it's this one, uh, this one, if I was going up or down, then I'm going to go, oh, this is supposed to be down, and I'm going to be left, and left, and right, and right, otherwise I just continue going, and this is the new beam in Mm -hmm. Let me make this a bit smaller, maybe. Okay, in go, scene prime, and we want to do new beam, other Beams. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Last two is here, depending where it moves. Okay. I guess if it um if it um if it escapes the bounds then um, if it escapes the bounds, then we just mm -hmm. 
So let's just first make sure we remove anything that's not within bounds, okay? Um, PC, PCPD, and I don't care about this. And I want to say um, case. Let's say these are, and then let's say, um, PY. Okay, let's just make sure that, um, so, uh, bound, so R dot bounds. Let me see, um, x, y, so let's see, um, x is larger than or equal to zero, and y is less than larger than or equal to zero. Let's get a, a bx, comma, by out of, um, array bounds, f, r, and then let's check that x is larger than zero. And y is larger than zero, and x is less than or equal to bx, and y is less than or equal to by, right? Um, and then this is just rs. So if this is If not this, then go. Don't just keep going. Go as RS. Let me see. Probably gonna. <laughs> Let's import preload hiding left, right. These are from either, so. Language GT2021. Mm hmm. Um, num angle. Move, um, in command. Angle to in command. Mm hmm. <laughs> Let me see, and uh, go is supposed to be uh, go is a takes a map of um, int comma int and set angle. I call it angle, no? Yeah, uh, to a um, a list of in comma int comma angle. These are the beams and we'll return an int. And it's because I looked up the wrong thing here. Okay, R B C mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, part one array in comma int um grid entry to um int 
Okay, so the PI uh, because it gives the lower bounds and the upper bounds. I get it. Okay, um, LBX, LBY. UBX, UBY, LBX, LBY, UBX, UBI. Okay, um, it does do something. Now let's see, print part one or Okay, it gives 46 for the example. And it does so quite fast. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, part 1. Array grid entry, uh, and I just need to print it. <laughs> Does seem to work for the example. Now let's just see if it works for the input um, before we start debugging. I think it should work. So basically, we kind of memoize it at the same time as we write it with this um, error in array index. Okay. Let me see. Um, trace show. Um, trace show. Um, uh, let's just do trace show actually. Uh, BC. Um, Indentations goes brr. Yeah. Um, import debug dot trace. Mm. Mm. What? Is it just not even a uh, print dot part one? Okay, it works for the example. I thought I specifically checked the mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me um, first pause it and say R2 um print r dot bound r2 okay return return 
error in array index? Is it just failing on the parse then? Ah, oh, okay. That's funny. Ah. Uh, that's okay, that's the problem. Uh, it should start with 0, 0, and it should end with. Res equals. F res equals F. F stirs um, Okay, so to start with zero, 0, and we should end with the first of the last of res res where this is stirs Okay, now we have the actual index here and print part one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 8539, okay. Seems like a reasonable number. All right, we did part one. Whoop, whoop. Took us 40 minutes though, but we did a lot of work. Uh, the reindeer tugs in your shirt, leads in your broken trouble, a collection of buttons. Any edge tile heading away from that edge. Uh, for instance, the beam starts in the bottom right corner, start heading either left or upward. So the beam could start on any tile, any tile in the left one. They have the bottom row, any tile in the leftmost column. Or any tile in the rightmost column. To produce lava, you need to find the configuration that energizes as many tiles as possible. This thing is going to get 51 tiles that are energized. Find an issue being configuration that energizes the largest number of tiles. Uh, okay. Um, Let's just write here, uh, fun takes in an in comma int and angle and returns and and then takes an array of this returns an int okay and we're gonna call this part fun r beams beams part one uh, r is equal to fun r and zero comma zero right no this is work yes <clears throat> mm -hmm. okay now um I think I'll just run it over all of them, okay? Um, so, part two are, is gonna take. Um, so, we're gonna have a where LBX, LBY, UBX, UBY, 
is equal to r dot bounds r okay so um, the edges are gonna be um, Edges are gonna be um, it's gonna be uh, how do I do this? So uh, we're going to have the left edge is gonna be map I a so zero comma i comma right <clears throat> um, edges is equal to uh, this mapped over uh, zero no uh, it's actually yeah uh, but it's gonna be is LBX and then this is we're gonna have this be Y and this is Y and this is from LBX no from LBY to UBI concatenated with um, so these are the ones going right so this is the right edge and then we have the left edge and then we're gonna have the uh going left and that's gonna be the ubx i think i need to say yeah plus one actually to make it to the end mm, and then we're gonna do for the axis we're gonna do x and lower bound y and this is going to be going down and it's going to go from obx to ubx plus one and then we're going to do upper bound x go up and then it's going to be lower bound x okay let's just write edges here first and see what happens <laughs> Um, part two. So we got all the right ones from zero to nine. Ah, it goes to ten also. Okay, so we don't need this plus one here. Okay, this one goes to 0 to 9, and then we have a uh, I think these are all the edges. Okay, um, maximum of um, Maximum of a uh, map fin R E fin R E. Oh, let's just actually make this like this. This is just fun R um, Probably be better if we like share the share the caches between them. Um, but whatever. Let's see if this is super slow or not. edges 
uh, gives 51. That's not 51, that's 48. <laughs> the being can start on any tile in the top round heading downward. Uh, I messed it up. These are actually um, the coordinates are flipped, right? So it's actually these are supposed to be Y's. Y, Y, and this will be LBX. Y. And these are gonna be. X. And X. Um, but I think they're both actually. We get 51. I think because they're all square, these things here actually don't matter. Um, okay, let's have it correct. Let's have this correct. For, okay. So now this is the right end and the left edge, but this one should actually be going from. In, yeah, be, they are correct. Let's just see how bad is it for the input. Mm -hmm. Could take some while. Um, okay, seven seconds. All right, we did day sixteen. Whoop whoop. Didn't take us too long, but all through the power of Ray. Let's see, git status, git add day16.hs put git commit m day60 git push. Okay, let's go to day 17 then. I don't know if we're gonna finish it today, um, but it'd be good to get some progress on it. Uh, and then maybe we'll finally catch up, right? Well, not finally, like, we're just one day behind. Because we skipped one day. Let me see. Okay, day 17. Anyway, I like the solution here. It was uh, just a race, and then we just brand the thing. There was no cleverness. It was just about getting it correct, memoizing with this. So just realizing that if you're getting, have a beam, um, going, hitting the same tile, going the same direction. It's not going to do anything new, right? Okay, but now day 17. Oscar Allen says it wasn't too bad. Ooh, look at these CSS effects. There is lava coming down. This is crazy stuff. Okay, uh, let's see. Clumsy crucible. Lots of flying monkey. Okay, that's a parachute. Because we get to Gear Island. And there's a giant factory city. Okay, we have a lava fall. Large crucible. Top heavy, unfortunately difficult to steer. And so I can't car to go in a straight line for very long. Okay. You need to find the best way to get the crucible from the lava pool to the machine parts factory. To do this, you need to minimize heat loss while choosing a route that doesn't require the crucible to go in a straight line for too long. Fortunately, the elves here have a map that uses traffic patterns, ambient damage, and hundreds of parameters. <sighs> okay, this is gonna be some breath for a search kind of BS. Anyway, that's. I think we implemented it so many times uh, in the past few years and it's high time we did it this year right let's see module main where main io main equals return 
and um, first let's parse the example I feel like <clears throat> Each city bucket is marked by a single digit of the amount of heat loss. Uh, the starting point, top left city block. The destination, the machine parts factory is the bottom right city block. Because you already start in the top left block, you don't incur that block's heat loss unless you leave that block and then return it to it. Okay. Okay, can move at most three blocks in a single direction before it must turn 90 degrees left to right. So that basically says... Um, hello, yeah, day 17, little Lenny. We finished day 16. We're gonna take a quick look. I think I'm gonna stop in like 40 minutes. Uh, I need to sleep also. <sighs> okay. One way to minimize heat loss is this path. <laughs> Never moves more than three consecutive blocks in the same direction. You increase a heat loss of only 102. Okay, so, because it's, it's not just breath first search, right? It is also... We also need to be careful that the path uh, satisfies the property. Mm -hmm. It may only turn left, continue straight, or turn right. Okay, let's um, just start with um, the breath first search then. How do you do the breath first search again? Um, we also, we don't need to Breath search. Three stairs vector node that has a given property. Okay, and then we do the ones that I explored. And then root, and if we use the goal, then return we. Mm 
Maybe I should like for every note say that you can do. Oh, let me check. Oh, I'm getting some milk delivered. Well, queue is not empty too, so we need like a priority queue. And then we just need to be careful with the path that we take, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's not valid to just say, oh, uh, we take the shortest path. Um, So what if I do breath first search and then um, for the neighbors, that's the thing, right? I can't just say, ah, for the neighbors, just if you've gone three times to the right, just throw out those neighbors, right? Because uh, the, the path, it's path independent, right? I'm not like I'm also you know we're also in that case where um, I just have like half an hour left and I'm like I'm not gonna start doing breath first search and then that's not gonna work um, so what I want to kind of do is just uh, pause it here and let's just do day 17 tomorrow, right? Uh, and just give me some time to think about it. I feel like I feel like I need uh, to think about this a bit. So let's see. Um, path here, so it goes three, four, and then three, two, three, one. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We could also, you know, try just the super greedy algorithm, right? That always just chooses the um Chooses the smallest one it can. Just to say, kind of, you know, the shortest path to this point is the shortest valid path to all of these points, right? And then the shortest valid path to any of these points, and so on, right? So you kind of do it recursively, uh, but backwards. But well, that's problematic by saying that um, yeah maybe we can do it like backwards like backwards shortest path kind of mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's uh, but let's start at least by um, parsing it. We're gonna do something similar as in day sixteen. We're just gonna <clears throat> we're just gonna have all these things. You know, we're gonna talk about directions and angles and stuff. Let's call this uh, dear instruction. And then we're gonna do uh, import prelude hiding left uh, left right. So and we're gonna we have to import all the all these dependencies. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, a grid entry here, uh, this is actually not grid entries, it's just numbers, int. Um, and parse entry, C is gonna be read at int C. And we have the parse, and they are directions, well, let's do read file sample um, print dot parse lines. Mm, GTO day seventeen dot hs day seventeen ah no day seventeen day seventeen dot hs and time. Okay, then we have this grid array, sorry. Okay, then we can have something like paths and like scene. I just don't know how to like, if we're just supposed to find the shortest path, that would be easy, right? But I don't know how to... It's quite hard to put this extra constraint on the path so that... Hmm... Mm -mm -mm. So what I want to do is I want to yeah. Okay, but at least we have uh, we have it parsed for now and uh, we can move around in it, right? Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna pause for now. Sorry about that. I am just not, I'm not getting like a, oh, this is how we can do it. So, I'll pause for today and uh, hopefully come back tomorrow with, you know, something written down like I had for green serum. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we fix it. All right, but thank you for tuning in today. 
and hope you enjoyed the break and i'll see you again tomorrow for uh, well day 17 uh again thank you oscar okay bye bye